We were honored to be invited to the first ever Childhood Cancer Canada Brunch and Mom Shave event. Three brave moms came together to shave their heads in solidarity with those fighting the disease. Here are their incredible stories. Um, childhood cancer affects 10,000 children in Canada. One in five won't make it, and two in three children suffer very long-term side effects. And that's why we're here today with our amazing initial mom squad, Kathleen, Melissa, and Jerusalem. What they're going to be doing is they've flown in from all over the country. They're going to be shaving their heads to raise awareness and funding for childhood cancer. And we're really thrilled about it. You know, sometimes you feel very helpless when your child is going through something so terrifying. You can't really do anything. You're kind of at the mercy of the disease itself. And I just, uh, I just really wanted to be able to do something physical and active that, that I felt could really help. I think I'll be emotional, but it'll be good. Uh, the only worry I have is more for my older children who are a little concerned. Mom, you're going to shave your head. And in chatting with them this morning on the phone, they said, are you bald yet? <laughs> so I think it'll be cathartic. I think it'll be good. And like we all say, the hair doesn't make me who I am. It's just a shell. And because I've been through this journey with hair, uh, I'll gladly do it a hundred times if it means finding cure or research or better funding for kids. So there's no better way, better thing to shave your head for than this. Can't get better than this, so <laughs> yeah. I am in eighth year of remission right now. And I have done treatment. It was tough for me to go through, but I made it. You're sitting there, and at first your hair's falling, and it's like, whatever, a bit. Yeah. You start going through your journey, and your child's journey, and just losing hair reminds them of what they've been through, and then you, what you've been through, what you still have to go through, and so you sort of just, like, all these emotions are coming at you, and then you sort of find peace with it, and you're just like, yeah, I got this, I got this. Stay focused, stay positive, be there for your child, and know that you can fight this disease. You can fight and you can win. So do the best that you can.